Good morning, everyone. Michael the Maven. And in today's episode of the Maven Nation, we're going to be talking about quality versus convenience and why convenience usually wins. First, let me say thank you to our sponsor, Michael the Maven, for sponsoring this episode. I'm giving away a free download of my Lollipops Action Set. This is something I've been selling since the beginning of my YouTube career. I sell these for $125 and they are my gift to you for subscribing. It's just my way of saying thank you. Follow the link to the store, download them and enjoy them. Lollipops allow you to pop different colors to a specific mask. It allows you to control how much spill as well as the saturation and things of that nature. They're very handy. When you're on the store, check out some of my other training videos, including over 50 videos for cameras. We have lessons on lighting, Photoshop, advanced techniques. We even have a course on business. Also be sure to check out my Maven Paracord camera straps. These are selling out on Amazon all the time. You can get them on the store. We have most of the colors there and new colors coming. So in today's episode of the Maven Nation, I want to talk about something that I call a binary, which I discuss in my efficiency playbook. Binaries are essentially a way to flip a coin that you know 90% of the time it's going to land on one of the sides. In the book, I talk about speed being greater than perfection, and this is applying in a huge way right now when we look at smartphone cameras compared to interchangeable lens cameras, talking about APS-C, micro four thirds, full frame, there are, are some very interesting things that are happening and, and smartphone cameras are a real threat to the photography industry. As a society, we tend to gravitate towards this exchange of giving up quality for convenience. And even as I say that, I think, no, 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 I, I'm a quality guy, I like quality. But because time is our most valuable resource, we're very willing to give up quality to save a little bit of time. If you look at something like McDonald's. McDonald's doesn't really make great food, but they are thriving more than ever all over the world. Why? Because they're able to save you a lot of time when you need a quick meal. Take a look at what's happening on social media compared to you know what was going on when I grew up. We would go outside and play as kids. We'd run around and play for hours. That's how we socialized. We would talk face to face now what's happening is relationships and friendships are becoming more and more digital. It's more convenient. It's faster to double tap on an Instagram image and like it instead of commenting on the picture or seeing the picture in real life hanging on a wall. And so over time, society figures out how to sacrifice quality for convenience. If we look at our ancestors, from 100 or 150 years ago, most of them were washing clothing down by the river or in a bucket somewhere. It took hours to do this. And lo and behold, somebody invented the washing machine. We can throw clothing into a washing machine, press start, and get probably cleaner clothes for doing a lot less effort. How many people are having that quality experience of washing you know, their clothes in a bucket? Because it doesn't make any sense. The reason I say this is that as convenience gets quality close enough, previous quality uh, experiences die. It doesn't even have to be better. It doesn't even have to be as good. It only needs to be good enough. Which brings us to the discussion of smartphone photography versus interchangeable lens photography, the larger sensors. Now, if the tech in the cameras were exactly the same, all things being equal, with the exception of sensor size, interchangeable lens cameras would have a huge advantage. But that's not what we're seeing right now. Companies like Apple and Google are investing tremendous resources in terms of people and money into developing these cameras very fast in terms of the smartphone cameras and we're seeing some amazing technology, specifically the Pixel 3, the new iPhone. These are using artificial intelligence. They're using computational photography, which is basically the ability of the processor to pull parts from multiple images and combine them in a way that eliminates ISO, for example, on the night sight for the Pixel 3 and also on the iPhone. And so we're starting to see the advantages that that larger sensor cameras had 
start to fade. One of them was ISO noise. That is starting to disappear. Another one was uh, shallow depths of field. So for portrait photography, small sensors had a really hard time getting this bokeh effect. And now we're seeing this fake bokeh added that makes it sorta of good enough. It's close enough. When you really get in and, and inspect the image, you can usually see some artifact and some footprint, but because it's good enough and we're seeing it on a small monitor, most people don't really care. You know, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, another one is the color sampling. Larger sensors typically are better at sampling and getting colors correct because there's more surface area. Smaller sensors have a hard time doing this. Well, one of the ways that Google got around this was to teach the computer how to white balance in low light situations. And so the computer is actually learning how to correct these colors. And so what I'm suggesting is that many of the barriers that large sensors had are starting to fade. They are disappearing. Now there are still many advantages to larger uh, sensor cameras. I think the controls are better. I think the true bokeh is definitely better. The lens quality and optics are absolutely outstanding. I was, I had an exchange with a lens expert who confided in me that anywhere from 30 to 50% of the lens is manufactured for smartphone cameras. Even the big uh, smartphone manufacturers are thrown away. That should tell you something about the quality of those lenses. They're, they're not really great. I personally can see the distortion in wide angle lenses, but smartly the camera manufacturers have started putting in 70 millimeter lenses. There's multiple lenses now. It'll be interesting to see how they get into the telephoto lenses if, if they can do that. I believe the off-camera lighting, the controls, the focusing speed, and most importantly, when you take an image and you put it on a poster or a movie screen, all of these little defects in the smartphone cameras become more and more apparent. So it's going to be very interesting in the next few years, uh, you know, what Canon and Nikon and Sony, how are they going to combat these tremendous technologies and resources that are putting into smartphone cameras? Because if it continues on the trend, that it is, it is a true and real threat to eliminating some of these larger sensor cameras that we're, we love using so much that I, I love shooting with them, but this is, this is the truth of the matter. Something that we will have to see from the major camera manufacturers in order to fend off this attack is they're going to have to start putting in the same types of technology into these larger cameras. We're talking about computational photography, artificial intelligence, better processors, faster processing speeds. There is a huge advantage to all that space that we have in a camera. It'll be very interesting to see how camera companies improve the quality as well as the convenience. I think there are a lot of things that we can do in terms of how we share images from our cameras. We see it through apps and things of that nature. But in the end, the take home message is really this as you are a photographer and a human being is that Savings and time for convenience are only valuable if we find a way to invest them into quality things that matter. As humans, we tend to invent new ways to waste time, and if that's the case, these savings in convenience are not really going to stack up, and that is the message I want you guys to think about. Convenience usually wins over quality. The key is knowing when to focus on quality. So in any event, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Maven Nation. Be sure to check out my new Paracord camera straps on the store when you go to download your lollipops. Would love to know your comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.